Candidates who want to be Dayton's next mayor will be promising to revitalize neighborhoods. Okay, but how? Wally Allier asked one hopeful city commissioner, Nan Whaley, about her new plan. Charles Howard has lived in the Roosevelt neighborhood in the west side of Dayton for 40 years. I've seen it when it was at its best, and I've seen it at its worst. Nan Whaley wants to make sure the worst is over. Today, she unveiled the second part of her roadmap for Dayton, in it, a vision for thriving Dayton neighborhoods. It's a set of priorities, and there's five guiding principles. In the plan, she wants to improve city services, maintain safe neighborhood environments, promote neighborhood uniqueness, connect the neighborhoods together, and fight property abuse. Abandonment. Getting rid of vacant homes and building new ones is only a portion of Nan Whaley's vision for thriving Dayton neighborhoods. She says it's also very important to give the people of each specific neighborhood a voice. Making sure that the housing inspectors view themselves as project managers that really involve the neighborhood and make sure that the neighborhood has a say in what kind of standards they want for their community. But her opponents say her plan should go even further. I plan on meeting with neighborhood leaders once a week. We have to develop a program programs uh, that provide uh, housing and tax credits. Plans are for politicians. Solutions are for the people. Her plan offers no real solutions and the solution is actually quite simple. We need to market Dayton as a world-class city to attract people here and uh, if she would uh, promote Dayton and not her own agenda, I think we'd be a lot further along. But forget the talk. The people of the neighborhood just want to see progress. I'm impressed with the fact that something is being done. I'm just hoping that the city will continue to support the efforts, whoever is, becomes mayor. In Dayton, Wale Alley, Fox 45 News.